Hey guys, this is the Shadow117, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Arbiter, McFarlane Arbiter uh, model. This is not an action figure, this is a, a, a model, guys. And this guy is great. Um, I got him for $10 on Amazon.com. I do not know how these things are not selling for more. Uh, it's really a cool model. Now, for some reason, and this is pretty much all manufacturers, besides the Halo 2 Arbiter, um, which is the only exception. Every single Arbiter that I've ever looked at, um, their their paint job is all has like a gold shine to it. Which, uh, in the game, yes it does, but it's so much lighter. It's actually a steel color, the armor. But, uh, for some reason, every single model and every single action figure, new one at least, is coming out with this gold to it, which does not make sense to me. But otherwise, let's get to this figure. Uh, he comes off the stand. And uh, the stand is actually kind of cool in the way it positions him. It's like kind of on a rock. Is about, it's like he's about to lunge or something. And uh, there's a lot of great detail on this little guy. Uh, he's got a really great looking face. Although the, uh, the face is a little wide for me, but still. I mean, this is really great. Um, the sword is a little flexible, but not that much. I would not move it around that much. Uh, so, you know, this way if it gets knocked over or something like that, it's not going to totally destroy it. But... Yeah, everything is great on this little guy. Um, yeah, I give this figure a uh, 5 out of 5. Well, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. Because the paint job is not accurate. But still, it looks great. Um, this is a really great figure. If you can find him for $10, get him. If you're a collector, get this little guy. Uh, thank you for watching my review. Have a good day.